All right, a good Tuesday afternoon out there to everybody as anticipated as advertised a great weather day for a second straight occasion and I would say even better today. Uh, even though we didn't have any clouds yesterday, I mean, we've had very few today, coupled with temperatures about three to four to five degrees, even warmer than what we had on Monday and a lot of daylight out there still. Keep in mind a sun down today, though, at 653. So get out there and enjoy it here in these last uh, two and a half hours before we lose that daylight. Temperatures warmest inland. We have had some southwest breezes along the lake shore to 10 to 15, even 20 miles per hour on occasion. That has kept readings a little bit cooler there. So, yeah, I mean, it's still really nice, though. 68 in Holland, 70 in Grand Rapids. We have gotten to 72. That is the maximum that uh, I have noticed from the airport over the past couple of hours and a west or southwest breeze about, uh, well, as low as 5 miles per hour, but as high as 15 to 20 on occasion. 66 degrees. I've got at 7 o'clock. Again, a sun down, a sun set at 653. So the moon symbol is appropriate there at 7 o'clock. Mostly clear skies Two occasionally partly cloudy skies with these high level cirrus clouds drifting on by. That's the way to describe it tonight. Temperatures dropping to around 50, I think, by daybreak tomorrow morning. I've been talking day after day how these models underdo the uh, the drop off in these evenings and overnights. Last night, models were showing about 50 for overnight low. We got down to 44 in Grand Rapids the previous night. We got down to 40, but uh, I do think some of these light breezes out of the southwest keep that low level atmosphere a little bit more mixed and the overall atmosphere is not quite as chilly tonight. So the net result say 49 or 50 by daybreak on Wednesday. We're going to see some filtered sun tomorrow morning. Clouds will be increasing though late morning and afternoon. So that filtered sun becomes more of a dim sun and then into an overcast by late day. Evening showers will return. There could be a shower out there uh, by late afternoon, but coverage would be light uh, developing more so later in the evening and overnight into Thursday. Cooler weekend, but then we do warm again. It looks like uh, early next week. So down into the 50s, but we'll round the bend again and back to 65. I think by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, there's some chance of everything worked out that we could make another run at 70 degrees there, perhaps for a day into the middle of next week. So we'll keep tabs on that. Visible satellite doesn't show a whole lot happening. Just these cirrus clouds drifting in in patches today. That's what we're noticing uh, mainly down to the southwest. That'll come and go, though, and leave us mostly clear for a lot of hours tonight. That area of low pressure is the one that does arrive with some showers later on Wednesday. So we'll run this graph model out in motion. Graph taking over for RPM by the way, so you won't hear RPM anymore, but it's virtually the same uh, model. It does show some of those clouds. We go out into tomorrow afternoon and evening and a couple spotty showers. It's going to be a really nice day on Wednesday. It's really tomorrow evening into the overnight when a few showers and thunder showers come on through and then the upper level low is going to keep a lot of clouds in here with a couple showers on Thursday. Fox 17 seven day planner. Here it is. We're going cooler. We've been talking about it for days. Readings in the 50s over the weekend.